A congressman from North Carolina could soon be working very closely with President Trump. Mark Meadows, who represents a district in the western part of the state, says that he will not run for re-election. He added that his work with President Trump and the administration is, quote, only beginning. Meadows is one of the president's most trusted congressional allies. Former Governor Pat McCrory is looking to run for office again, but he says he's going to wait a couple of years. McCrory is eyeing, eyeing a seat in the U.S. Senate. Republican Senator Richard Burr says he's going to retire at the end of his term, so his seat will be up for grabs in 2022. Some speculate that McCrory would run for governor, but he says he's going to focus on campaigning for the Republican nominee instead. If McCrory does run for U.S. Senate, he could face Congressman Mark Walker in a GOP primary. Walker announced this week that he's not going to run for Congress in 2020. He says he will run for the U.S. Senate when Senator Burr retires. Happening now, a 14-year-old is accused of threatening to shoot another student at High Point Central High School. Now, several students told the school resource officer about an online threat. The SRO then tracked down the student, and that teen was arrested within an hour. Charges are still pending. Well, four teens are accused of stealing a car from a mother who was picking up her child at a daycare. High Point officers tell us that the woman's Apple Watch actually helped them to track down some of her belongings. A woman told officers that she was picking up her child on Monday when she looked out the window and then saw someone driving away in her car. Her Apple Watch helped officers ping a location to find some of her stuff that was inside the vehicle. Police tried to pull over a stolen car yesterday, but the driver did not stop. They changed the driver into Davidson County and arrested four teenagers. Happening now, Mebane police are looking for three people who allegedly robbed a bank. One of them was wearing a mask from the movie Scream. This is surveillance video from inside the Wells Fargo branch. Officers say the three people walked in yesterday afternoon, pointed guns at tellers and demanded cash. They say the suspect stuffed cash in a trash bag and then ran out. Call Mebane police if you have any information about this robbery.